Okay, welcome to the checkout of the Cosmac ELF 2K. Uh, finally have it running and I'm going to do some initial program checkout here. First thing I'm going to do is enter a program to clear uh, all the memory. If we go through the uh, memory right now in memory protect mode. We see that the memory has, well, sequence content from when I ran the sequencer earlier. So now I'm going to load into it a memory clear program. So here I'm setting memory protect off, saying load on, and then I'll start entering my program. Okay, my program's in there, so now I'm going to check it, make sure it's right. So now memory protect is on, and go back into load mode and step through it. Okay, it looks okay. So now I'm going to run the program. Okay, it's done. <clears throat> well, it would help if I ran it with memory protect off. I'll run it again. Actually, I have to set the first instruction back to 9-0. Okay, now I'm going to run it. Okay, now I'll check my results. So go through it, and now all the memory after the program is zero. Okay, so now I'm going to enter the sequencer program. Okay, turn memory protect off. Okay, and most of the program here is the same, so I'm going to put memory protect on and just step through some of the initial steps. Okay, now this next instruction will be different. Okay, check my program. Okay, it's all loaded okay. Let's now run it. Okay, it's done running. And we're protect on. Now step through my memory. And after the program, the memory should now all be sequenced. It is, see? Each memory location has that has data in it that is the first two bytes of the, uh, actually the first byte of the memory location. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to enter the program that tests uh, the Q port. And what this should do is just blink this Q LED 
uh, on a slow rate. My binary is rusty. Of course, this is how on the early microcomputers and actually the early mini computers all the uh, programs were entered. I'm sure they got pretty fast at it. Oh, that one's wrong. I'll have to go back and fix that one. Okay, so now we will Step through our memory. Okay, this next one's the one I got wrong, so I'll correct it. There we go. Okay, now step back through my program one more time and check it. Okay, looks good. So now we'll run it. Okay, and the QLED is blinking once every now and then, sort of slowly. There it blinks. Okay, and that's it. So the ELF 2000 has a monitor ROM in it as well that's loaded with a monitor, basic, fourth, uh, small editor, and terminal server. Uh, all those work through the serial port, which will be the next thing that I'll need to get uh, working after I get a case built for it. Um, the daughter board uh, for the uh, video chip, the 1861 video chip, has not been installed. I have a couple more uh, decoupling capacitors to install on it and then it'll go right here. I actually have an 1861 original chip uh, but uh, I'm gonna keep my old ELF2 whole so I'm gonna use this uh, emulator for it that Spare Time Gizmos made. Um, okay so what, what I can do is enable enable it to boot from the ROM and now when I run it when I turn it on in run mode it'll do a post checkout here and this will end with 16 it's actually counting down from 99 all the way to 16 but it skips some numbers so quickly so you can't really tell so now it has 16 which is the correct postcode for a valid checkout of the hardware so we should be good to go once we get the uh, terminal hooked up. Uh, that's it for now.